Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. We back at it again in Cakewalk. Hey, man, if y'all new here to the channel, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'll let y'all know when I drop another video. But today I'm going to kind of talk about the piano roll inside of Cakewalk by BandLab. Y'all ready to check this out? Let's go. All right, so this is a blank slate. I don't have anything in here, just my regular setup for stuff down here. So I'm gonna hit D. This will actually control your, your, your docking station. So boom, D. I'm just hitting a D on the keyboard, that's all I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna actually go to the piano roll. So I'm gonna right click in here, and this is my uh, controller pane. I think that's what they call it. Um, and we're going to go to view and we're going to go to piano roll. And as you see, there's a shortcut for it, alt three. So that'll make it easier to get there if you don't want to actually go this way and do it. So I'm going to go to piano roll. And as you see, it pulled up on half the screen. This is my docking station down here in this area down here. So I'm going to hit shift and D and that's going to pull up the whole keyboard. So if you always hear me saying that in any of my videos, that's what I'm doing. Shift and D. And then if you do shift D again, it'll do it half the screen. So I'm gonna do shift D to do full screen. I'm gonna actually pull this over, this section over here, so I can get my mute solos and the record option over here. If you've watched my uh, ghost notes inside of Cakewalk, so basically that's one of them secrets that a lot of people don't know about, about the piano roll. So if you right click, you wanna enable the snap to scale, and then you wanna right click on it again and now you want to actually choose your scale. So I'm going to choose natural minor. So I'm actually going to take off this scale. Okay, hit R on your keyboard. All right. So as you see, there's some mistakes made. Uh, so you can just kind of get rid of those if you wanted to. All right. So as you see, some of the things are uh, kind of off, um, which is, you know, most of the time a good thing. Um, but you don't always have to use like the quantize to actually fix everything. So let's say I just wanted to fix this one note, right? On the keyboard, it gives you an option for if you're using like a keyboard that has a number pad. Remember that it has to have a number pad. Um, I hit the six and it moves it over. So these are the nudge keys. So this one is actually moving over by two, two milliseconds, I believe it's called. So if, you, if I'm hitting the nine, that'll move it over by three, three milli seconds or tones or I'm not sure how it's called and if I'm hitting the three it'll move over by one so three is one six is two and nine is three I know that sounds confusing but that's what it is all right so on the other side it would be seven to move over three four to move over two and one to move over one so the eight moves up one and the two moves down one so now let's say I wanted to actually do an octave jump usually you would have to do a transpose so if you set up this transpose and you actually type in a number no you don't have to do that anymore so this is just like FL when you're holding down control and you move your up key instead of moving the up arrow you're gonna move the number eight which is the up nudge for the key so you're gonna highlight that note hit down hold down control and hit the eight and it'll move it by octaves so that gives you an option to actually move the stuff around the way you want to move it just like you can in fl studio so a lot of people are uh well that was one of the things that kind of got me really weird about it because i didn't know like how to do all these things and so you know it's a learning experience but you get an option to actually fix a lot of things this way and it makes it a lot easier 
to move things around or you know to do your um your keys and put them in different places so like let's say i wanted to move all of these so i'm just gonna highlight all of these here i'm gonna move them up control eight and boom And boom so now you have some really nice lush chords as they say but yeah so that's one of them real uh nice tricks that i've found uh inside of uh cakewalk by bandlab that you can use just like you do in fl because i was an fl user for a long time <laughs> let's just say that i've had sonar for a long time but i've never made beats in it until lately so now i'm learning how to actually use it as I would use it in FL, and it's uh, it's definitely a game changer, yo. Like you can just do a lot of things that you can do in, in other programs. So let's say I wanted to, um, you know, pop, copy and paste this section here. I'm just gonna right click over all of them, and you see this arrow, this thing here, this um, this section selector kind of thing. That's what actually moves your uh, stuff over. So it'll move over by exactly what this is. So if I hit control and then hit D, because in FL you do control B to latch it to the next thing. This is one you would do a control D and boom, it moves the whole thing over. Just like it would in FL. Let's move these back down. Control and then hit two and then boom. Take off the loop. Let's start from the beginning. So, I mean, there you have it. That's uh, another way to actually get these things done in here. So let's say I wanted to actually do some uh, expression for these actual notes in here. I'm gonna hit on this little plus sign down here to add a new controller. And in this controller, it gives you options to do different things. I believe expression is what we're looking for. So basically, um, it'll give me an option to actually do like um, expressions with the the actual tool so this thing here this option here inside of labs is what gives you your like expression for your notes so i'm going to use that uh in here with this c11 to give it that that feel of like rising and falling so um first thing i want to do is actually turn off the snap so snap is off and i'm going to start drawing so I'm gonna go slowly up. All right, so let's see how that sounds. Let's go back to the beginning. As you see, it gave it a different feel, you know, when you're actually doing that. That's how a lot of those, a lot of people actually get those nice, really lush chords and sounds with their like strings um, in their beats. And uh, this is this tutorial is mostly for people who actually make beats inside of Cakewalk that are trying to move away from other DAWs or DAWs that actually are, you know, paid for. Because like I said, this is a free DAW, so. Most of the things in here that I'm using today are all free. All these things are actually in here are free. Uh, this labs is actually a free download, you know? So all these things can be uh, possible. So I'm gonna hit D on my keyboard. I'm gonna actually pull up another instrument. So I'm gonna right click on here and I can view and go to piano roll. I'm gonna hit shift and D and that's gonna pull up the whole screen. So um, this is where you can actually use your tools inside of this uh, piano roll. So let's say I wanted to actually do some um, different kind of hi-hats. I'm gonna turn my snap back on. 
that's that way it'll actually snap to the grid itself and um i'll probably leave it on let's leave it on 1 16th right so i'm going to use my tool so i'm gonna hit on t on the keyboard this is just a quicker way to do it instead of just going all the way back up here so this is like your draw tool so you can draw your notes in all right so now if i have my um my tools i've picked on my draw tool so the draw tool will let you actually put stuff in um, and it'll kind of coincide with whatever you have set here for your uh, your bars and your snap. So my snap is set to 1 16th, so it's gonna actually do 1 16th wherever I put it. So um, we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna delete all of these. So all I did was right click on it. So when you're on your uh, draw tool and you right click over it, you see it shows the eraser that icon is your eraser tool so it's going to erase all right so i'm going to actually put these to let's do one eighth apart all right so i'm going to go here and draw and then you have have your regular hi-hat So let's say, um, let's say you wanted to actually have some kind of like um, different ones. So I'm gonna go to my regular tool. So I'm gonna hit the T on here. I'm gonna go to my smart tool. I, and I'm gonna hold down control and I'm gonna take every other one, right? And I'm going to lower the notes on it. As you see, the smart tool gives you that option for the volume. You can do it at the bottom as well. You can do it down here to do the same thing. But for some reason, I just like to do it up here. This looks cool, I guess. And I'll just pull down the volume on these hi hats. So now I have two different hi hat volumes. So it kind of sounds like this now. And it gives it more of a groove. So, um, I'm gonna right click and highlight all of them now. And what I wanna do is actually um, hold down control and grab this to copy it. I'm gonna hold down control, grab this, copy it. Hold on control, grab this, copy it. So that way I can actually copy my notes in here. So let's say I wanted to actually just do just this little piece here. Once you know that you have your lock on here, this little bar saying that this is what's highlighted, I can hold control and then D and it'll duplicate it. So in FL, you would do control and B, but uh, in Cakewalk, it's control and D to duplicate, um, which it is in many other uh, DAWs. FL is very special with that one. All right. So, um, Let's say that you wanted to actually have like the, um, you know, the hi-hat rolls in here. So let's do a roll. So let's change this. Let's do 132. See, hit on your tools again and you want to do your draw tool. So now we want to actually do 132 and draw it in. So, um, so let's do one here. And let's do a 116. Let's put them down here. So it gives you that option to do piano, you know, the, the rolls in here. Um, and that's because I'm actually using a sampler. Um, if you weren't using a sampler, you wouldn't be able to do this, uh, this to let you know, I mean, cause it doesn't give you the option to change octaves on like a regular, like drum kit that it actually comes with. Like if you're doing it through that, um,
like this S1 drum kit that it comes with, it won't let you do that. But yeah, so if you want to actually do the rolls, get complete control. It's a free, free plugin as well. None, none of these things in here do you have to pay for. These are all free programs. So man, uh, just enjoy, man. Go out, get it, enjoy. Um, and definitely enjoy using Cakewalk and the piano roll. As you see all my stuff in here, you see my little waves, man. Waves up in there, yo. All right. But I think that's it for this video, man. Um, so if you need any other questions or concerns about the piano roll, definitely hit me up, man. Um, hit me in the comments below. Let me know what y'all thinking, what y'all what y'all doing, what y'all trying to feel, what y'all trying to hear, what y'all trying to see. All right. But once again, it's your boy X.E.L.O. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. You heard? Peace.